when I first saw this, I, I genuinely couldn't believe my eyes. The idea that Sergio Garcia is going to try and get back in a Ryder Cup squad. Now, I am excited, and maybe you're thinking, Alex, why the heck would you be excited? Sergio Garcia is a has-been, and, and actually, on that note, do you think a Ryder Cup team in 2025 at Bethpage Black will be better with or without Sergio Garcia? Now, don't forget, we're, we're talking about a Ryder Cup record point scorer. In the 11 matches he's played during his professional career, he has accumulated a record 28.5 points during those matches. So don't write him off straight away, but I would love for you to let me know down in the comments if you think, right, okay, Ryder Cup Team Europe will be better with him or without. Now, there's actually a second reason I'm excited about this. Because of what he discloses during this interview with Rick Shields would actually apply the same for the likes of Tyrrell Hatton and John Ram. So it is looking hopeful for Team Europe. Let's go through all the details and what Sergio Garcia has revealed of what he's going to do in his schedule and how he's going to compete for the Ryder Cup squad in 2025. Also, actually, right, there's a few points that he digs out towards the DP World Tour here, but let's go through the full interview. Now, cast your mind back. Garcia pretty much ripped up his DP World Tour card after he was fined and suspended for playing and being part of the Live Golf League. And actually, he was fined £700,000, which is around about a million dollars. A ridiculous sum of money. Other Ryder Cup legends that are included in this is sort of Lee Westwood, Ian Poulter, and Henry Stenson. Now, although Garcia has actually paid his heavy fine of £700,000 to the DP World Tour last season, it was actually a little bit too late in order to be, well, eligible for a European Ryder Cup team spot. Now, although Garcia paid his million-dollar fine, it was a little bit too late with regards qualifying for a Ryder Cup team spot, and even actually eligible for a Ryder Cup captain's pick. So, what's going to be different this year? Now, he has made it clear that he is meaning business. I mean, look at him in the first event of the season. On the Live Golf Circuit, he finished second to Joachim Neiman. A really good event. He played very, very well. Now, in the interview with Rick Shields, he says this. I'm going to be a member again of the European DP World Tour. So I'll play my four events or something like that. Maybe if I do well in those, maybe I can get myself in to a Ryder Cup team somehow. So essentially, playing four events will mean your points qualify and contribute towards a Ryder Cup team spot. And this will be the same for the likes of Tyrrell Hatton and John Ram. He went on further to say this. I always said I wanted to keep being a member of the DP World Tour and play a minimum four events and keep my card. So essentially, you have to play at least four events for your money to count, which is why four events is critical for a Ryder Cup team spot. They didn't make it too easy to be able to do that. But one of the reasons why I joined Liv was to play less and spend more time with my family. Let's go into this further. If all goes well... I will be playing around 21 or 22 events. And what he means there, 21 or 22 events within a playing season. So I guess how this will sort of work out would be 14 live golf events, four regular DP World Tour events, and then four majors. So essentially, he has eight goes at getting a Ryder Cup team spot. That being four majors and four events on the DP World Tour. And we're probably going to be thinking right now, the four events he's going to play are all the Rolex series or the remainder of the Rolex series. So the BMW PJ Wentworth, probably the Irish Open, Scottish Open, all these big events where there's big points on offer and big money on offer. That way you're getting, I guess, double bang for your buck. You've got a chance of earning a lot, but there's going to be more points on offer in terms of your rankings within the DP World Tour, and then, therefore, ranking points within the Ryder Cup Team Squad 2. So do you think he has a chance? That's the question. Do you think he has a chance? I'll be honest. Like, I'm looking at the squad the way it is. I look at this as maybe Sergio has a chance. I would love him to be there as a bit more of a nostalgic reason. But I'm looking at this as a positive for the likes of Tyrrell Hatton and John Ram. 
So this is all thumbs up for Team Europe. Here we go. Do you reckon they can do it, right? Do you reckon they can do it at Beth Page Black? Now, it doesn't stop there. He goes on further with the interview with Rick Shields to say this. I want to give myself the best possibility for it. And he means playing in the Ryder Cup. Only playing a handful of events, it is not easy to make it unless you do super, super well. But I guess at the end of the day, if I'm eligible, they see I'm making an effort and I do well in live and I'm consistent, then at least I can be considered. Not only because of my game, but what I can bring to part of the team and my history of the event. So I guess he's looking at this in two different ways. One, he might qualify. But two, if he's actually eligible, maybe Luke Donald will go, you know what? I want a bit of experience in here. I want your Ryder Cup record, especially, right? I think experience is going to be a bigger thing when you're playing away. At home, not necessarily a huge deal, I don't guess, because you've got the team, I've got their home crowd behind them. But when you're going to the US in a very hostile atmosphere for Team Europe, having experience is going to be, well, massive. So essentially, he sort of has two goes at it. One, trying to qualify, but also two, if he's eligible, then Luke Donald might give him the nod. He finishes off by saying this. At the moment, I'm not thinking about Ryder Cup captaincy. I feel like I can still bring a lot as a player. But yes, obviously, it is a possibility. We will see what happens. Now, is this a little breadcrumb for what's going to happen after Luke Donald? Who knows? But I think it's a really interesting U-turn for the likes of Sergio Garcia, because simply, surely... A lot of European players, maybe Ian Poulter, maybe Lee Westwood was also looking at this going, you know what, I feel like I still have something to offer. That Ryder Cup was awesome. The way we played, the way the team looked, the atmosphere, I want to be part of that. It'll be interesting to see if any others follow suit and try and get that nostalgic card back and re-qualify for DP World Tour and then therefore have a chance of being part of the Ryder Cup in 2025. Thanks so much. This is your latest news within the golf industry. Be sure to subscribe and turn the bell so I can keep you up to date.